Question 9. A given function f of x has an inverse f inverse of x. The derivatives of f of x and f inverse of x exist for all real numbers x. The graphs y equals f of x and y equals f inverse of x have at least one point of intersection. Which statement is true for all points of intersection of these graphs? The points of intersection of the graph of a function and its inverse do not necessarily lie on the line y equals x. Take for example the piecewise function f of x equals the square root of 7 minus 3x for x less than 2 and f of x equals negative 3 over 2x plus 4 for x greater than or equal to 2. This function is one-to-one -one and continuous for all real x, which means an inverse function, f inverse of x, exists which is one-to-one -one and continuous for all real x, which is f inverse of x equals 7 over 3 minus x squared over 3 for x greater than 1, and f inverse of x is equal to negative 2 over 3 times x plus 8 over 3 for x less than or equal to 1. The graphs of y equals f of x and y equals f inverse of x intersect at the following points. 1 quarter comma 2 and a half, 1 comma 2, 1.5414 comma 1.5414. Now these values are approximations. We have 2 comma 1 and 2 and a half comma 1 quarter. Hence options A and B are incorrect. Now the main idea here that it is possible for the graphs of y equals f of x and y equals f inverse of x to intersect anywhere, not just on the line y equals x. Given that the derivative of f of x and the derivative of f inverse of x exist for all real x, this means that f of x and f inverse of x are smooth, continuous, monotonic functions. In other words, they are functions with no breaks that do not change direction over all real x. Either the derivative of f of x is positive and the derivative of f inverse of x is positive, or the derivative of f of x is negative and the derivative of f inverse of x is negative over all real x. For tangents to be perpendicular, the derivative of f of x must be positive and the derivative of f inverse of x must be negative or vice versa at the point of intersection. Therefore, the answer is option D.